Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the makeup look. I'm starting out by priming my eyes with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This does an amazing job at covering all of the veins, so I would definitely recommend this for an eyeshadow primer if you guys are looking for one. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and set that down so all of the eyeshadows blend out really nicely on top. I'm just using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Love this stuff. Alright, so now we're going in with the Tarte Tartlet Palette and I'm just picking up a medium brown and this is going to be the transition shade. So I'm just taking this on a really fluffy brush and blending it from inner corner to outer corner. You guys know the drill. This just makes it easy for all of the other colors to blend out on top of this easier. So now I'm just going in with a chocolate brown. This is going directly in the crease. I'm just taking this on a small fluffy brush and really working that color up, making it really intense. So starting from the outer corner of the eye and then bringing it to the inner corner. Don't forget to go in with a clean blending brush just to blend out any edges so there is no harsh lines at all. And now I'm taking a concealer brush with that same MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm just going to create a bit of a cut crease. So I've been doing this a lot lately. I love this technique. It's just a lot different to the normal eyeshadow all over the lid and then the crease color. It kind of just adds something a little special. So now taking this blue eyeshadow by Makeup Geek, it is absolutely stunning. I just think this is the prettiest color. It's so fresh and icy. So I'm just going to pack this all over where I put that concealer. Now it's time for the face, so I'm taking the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer just to add a bit of a glow to my face because I do have dry skin so this looks stunning underneath foundation. And then for foundation I'm taking the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is a really good foundation if you do have oily skin. It's really going to stick onto your face. As soon as I put this on my face feels stiff, it kind of makes my face feel dry so that's why I always like to go in with a really radiant primer. But I really like the finish of this. It is super full coverage and I really like the color range that they have as well. So I'm just blending this in with a flat top kabuki brush. Now I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal. I'm just popping this right underneath my eyes to cancel out those bluey purple tones. I really like this concealer considering how cheap it is. So I'm really just going to pack this under my eyes and also down the center of my face to highlight it. And I'm just going to blend this out with a beauty blender. If you guys don't have a beauty blender, you should definitely get one because it is the easiest way to blend out concealer. Now it's time to set that concealer down in place, honey. So I'm using the RCMA, the original no color setting powder and just packing this wherever I put that concealer to make sure it does not crease throughout the day. Now taking my Astralis Fresh and Flawless Press Powder, I'm just going to pack this all over my face with a flat top kabuki brush. This powder adds a lot of coverage, so if you do have a foundation that doesn't have a lot of coverage, this is the perfect powder to go over the top to add that little bit extra. So I'm just brushing away all of that bake and then we are ready for under the eyes. So I'm going to take that same chocolate brown eyeshadow and just put that from outer corner to inner corner to really proportion out the eyeshadow. Then I'm just going to take this Stila White Eyeliner. Stila has the best eyeliners for the waterline. They stay on forever. So just putting this there to really open up the eyes. And then I'm going in with some mascara. This one is the Avon Luxe Mascara. So just coating my top and bottom lashes so we can get ready for some falsies. The lashes that I'm wearing today are from Lily Lashes. I will leave my discount code down below if you guys are interested. So now let's move on to contouring. I'm taking this contouring palette by Morphe and I'm starting with this medium warm tone contouring shade just right under my cheekbones just to start it off. And then I'm going in with this darker shade right here to really define the cheeks. So this is a bit darker and I'm going very light handed with this shade and it looks absolutely stunning. I always like to make sure my face is glowing so I'm going in with my MAC Gold Deposit and just putting this on my cheekbones and also around my forehead. This just adds a bit of sheen, it's nothing too shimmery. This is a step that I love to do so I'm just taking a banana shade and putting this under my contour just to clean it up and make it look super sharp. So this is just a step you can do instead of baking, it's just easier and it's neater and it works just as well. So now it's time for highlight, I'm taking this one by Too Faced. Of course, I'm spraying some MAC Fix Plus on my brush before I highlight and then I'm going into town, putting it on top of my cheekbones, down the center of my face, a bit of everywhere because I love that glow. 
Now I'm just taking this Kylie lip pencil in the shade Exposed. I love this shade so much. It's very different. So I'm just going to go ahead and align my lips. I might even overline them if you see my last video. Then you would know how to get big lips in less than five minutes. I'll leave it linked down below if you guys are interested in that. So now going in with the Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade Exposed as well and just popping this all over. I love the formula of these lipsticks. They feel so incredible and they're nice and hydrating. I am so incredibly impressed. Woo. Lastly, I'm going in with the NYX Dewy Finishing Spray and I'm just spritzing this all over my face because as I said before, I like to glow, honey. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!